Blessed day to everyone. So let us now discuss the operations in integers. So we know that integers are composed of positive numbers, 0, and the negative numbers. So what are the operations that we're going to discuss? First, we have the addition of integers. And then we have the subtraction of integers. We have the multiplication of integers and the division of integers. In our first lesson, I'm going to discuss the addition of integers. So here is the discussion about the sign. So what are we going to do if we're going to add like sign? So we have positive and then you're going to add with another positive. So what will be the result? The answer is positive. And what are you going to do? So the operation will become addition. Next, what if the given is negative and then add by another negative? So the result is negative. And then what are you going to do? You're going to add also the given integers. As we can see on the first two, like sign, we're going to add and copy the common sign. Positive plus positive is equal to positive and you're going to add. Negative plus negative is equal to negative and then you're going to add. And then what if, and the third one, what if there is a positive integer you're going to add to the negative integer? So that is a complicated one. The answer will become positive if a positive has a bigger number or absolute value. So what will be the operation? You're going to subtract the two integers again. If the given are unlike signs or different, so you're going to subtract. The operation will become subtraction. And then you're going to copy the integer that has a bigger number or a bigger absolute value. So the answer is positive if a positive has a bigger number or absolute value. So what are you going to do? You're going to subtract the two integers. So what if there is negative plus positive? The answer is equal to negative if the negative integer has a bigger absolute value or has a bigger number. So the same with the third one, you're going to subtract. So let us have an example to make it more clear. So let us discuss. Let us answer number one. We have a positive 25. We're going to add to positive 15. Again, in our first statement, positive plus positive. So it will become positive. And then what will be the operation? It will become addition. So 25 plus 15, the answer is positive 40. So you don't need to write positive automatically. There is a positive sign here. Okay, next with number 2. We have statement number 2, negative plus negative. The answer will become negative. Negative 15 plus negative 8. You're going to copy the common sign. And then also you're going to add 15 plus 8. The answer is negative 23. Next, for number 3. For number 3, positive plus negative, the operation will become subtraction. You're going to subtract. And it will become positive if the positive has a bigger number or absolute value. Or it will become 
negative if negative has a bigger absolute value. Let us see for number 3. 40 plus negative 25. They are a like sign. You're going to subtract. 40 minus 25. The answer is 15. And then, in 25 and 40, 40 has a bigger number. The integer that has a bigger absolute value. That's why the answer is positive 15. Number 4. Negative 100 plus 55. Again, they are unlike sign. You're going to subtract. 100 minus 55. The answer is 45. As we can see, negative 100 has a bigger absolute value or has a bigger number. So therefore, you're going to copy the sign of negative 100. So the answer is negative 45. Okay, now in number 5, number 5, positive 50 plus negative 13, they are unlike sign. As we can see, positive 50 plus negative 13, they are unlike sign. You're going to subtract 50 minus 13. So, the answer is 37. And then 50 has a bigger absolute value. The answer is positive 37. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. I hope that you have learned a lot. So you're going to answer. Try to answer number 6 and 7 and write your answer in comment section. Thank you very much.